Rania, we just watched a neighborhood in Beirut be blown up. How are you? I'm okay. It's been a really tough week and a half because for the last week and a half, the Israelis have been carrying out one terrorist attack after another against Lebanon. And we saw earlier this week, they killed over 500 people in 24 hours. They've been just indiscriminately carpet bombing the south of Lebanon. And now they've been carpet bombing areas of South Beirut. And it's terrifying to watch because every escalation scares me. I don't know if I want to be able to go home. I'm worried about my family. I'm worried about my friends. I'm in touch with them all the time and they're terrified. There's displaced people everywhere and we're tr constantly trying to find them places to stay. And you know, people have watched Gaza be genocided for 12 months and now it's spreading to Lebanon and it's really scary. It's, it's been psychological terror for the Lebanese because Israel keeps promising to turn Lebanon into Gaza. And now they're starting to do that. Well, what do we need to know about Lebanon? Because we know a lot about Palestine and we know we had to be on a learning curve about it uh, because we're lied to all the time. Where do you see the lies about Lebanon that are helping to drive this? So what the Israelis are saying is that they are just defending themselves. They're always just defending themselves against what they call a terrorist group, which is Hezbollah, and that Hezbollah is firing at them unprovoked, and they have no choice but to go in and destroy Hezbollah, which they say is hiding in every single kitchen and basement and bedroom of every Lebanese civilian. Uh, it's the same talking points we saw on Gaza, which is why it's scary, because they are bombing people's homes while they're in them. What's important to understand about Lebanon is that Hezbollah is a political party. Yes, the U.S. and Europe and Israel call Hezbollah a terrorist organization. This is not the world. The majority of the world recognizes Hezbollah as a political party, and they are actually elected democratically by Lebanese people to serve in the Lebanese parliament. In fact, they serve in the largest parliamentary bloc in Lebanon's parliament. And they also have a military wing. That military right wing was formed in the mid 1980s in response to Israel's vicious and brutal invasion, occupation, and massacres across Lebanon. Hezbollah literally formed its Lebanese people in South Lebanon that came together to defend their homes and to defend their land against Israel. That's where Hezbollah comes from. And in the year 2000, after 15 years of brutal Israeli military occupation, just like we see in Palestine, Hezbollah managed to liberate Lebanese land and kick the Israelis out. And there was a war again in 2006. Hezbollah also kicked the Israelis out. And since then, the Israelis haven't even dared to invade Lebanon again because Hezbollah has acted as a military force protecting Lebanon's border. And that's how many Lebanese people see them. And now, since October 7, in response to Israel's genocide in Gaza, Hezbollah has been firing at Israel in solidarity with the people of Gaza. But there has been many cross-border attacks between the Israelis and Hezbollah in this time. 80% have come from Israel at Lebanon. So this is a tit for tat. It's a two-way fight with the majority of violence coming from Israel, not Hezbollah. I'll also add that Hezbollah has been hitting military installations on the Israeli side, while Israel has been intentionally targeting civilians because that's their military doctrine. And what's really important to understand is that the longer this escalation in Lebanon continues, the more likely we're going to see a regional war. This is incredibly dangerous, and we all have to tell our elected leaders to stop arming Israel or the region's going to explode into some sort of apocalypse.